Please hurry. So the law we're dealing with here is Poiseuille's law, developed by French physicist and physiologist Jean Poiseuille in the early 1800s. What Poiseuille's law does, it relates uh, 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 flow rate to a bunch of different variables like viscosity, um, and it applies directly to laminar flow. Laminar flow describes the non-turbulent flow of Newtonian fluid through a pipe of uniform section. So what this helped Poiseuille with was actually his physiology research on capillaries and veins. By treating these capillaries and veins as pipes of uniform section, Poiseuille was actually able to investigate the rate of blood flow through these capillaries and veins using his own law. So, to demonstrate Poiseuille's law, we filled up a fish tank with water and got a small, flexible, transparent tube to siphon the water out. Basically, one part of Poiseuille's law states that the rate of flow is inversely proportional to the length of tubing. Hey! To test this, we changed the length of the tubing and measured rates of flow that corresponded with each of those lengths. So a full scoop of this is six cups exactly. So in this bucket here, we have all the water that was emptied out through the pipe in 30 seconds. So we're just gonna measure out using this cup and this smaller measuring cup, the exact volume of water that was emptied out through that pipe in 30 seconds. And that way we'll have volume over time and we can determine how the length of the pipe affects the flow rate. And we'll see the effects of Poiseuille's law. Part of Poiseuille's law describes how the pressure of one side of the pipe affects the flow rate. So to ensure the pressure remains the same throughout all our trials, we're just going to empty the water back into the fish tank. So that was six cups. This is going to be 12 cups total. And then for this final little bit of water we have left, we'll just be using the smaller cup so we can make our measurements more precise. So that'll be about 150 milliliters. And that's not in the same unit of, of measurement as cups, but we'll convert that later and add it up. So there's 150 milliliters. Our total water that flowed out of that pipe in 30 seconds will be 12 cups plus 150 milliliters. So what we discovered is that as we decrease the tube length more and more, the volume of water expelled into the bucket increased more and more, meaning that the total flow rate actually increased more and more. This makes sense because Poiseuille's law actually theorizes this inverse relationship between tube length and flow rate. Mama.